Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Friday, April 15th. Today's Good Friday. So I had another video scheduled for weigh in Wednesday with like a full workout and everything, but I just feel that we need something a little different. So this is gonna be a chatty video. If you like, grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, cause we need to chat a little. So it's been a while since I've actually done a sit down video with you guys and I just felt like today was the best day just based upon some of the messages that I've been receiving um, as well as some things that have been coming up in coaching calls. I just felt like I need to chat with you all. So I don't have any notes. I don't have anything planned. I'm just gonna shoot this video in one take and cancel what else I had planned. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, there are a couple things. One, I wanted to talk about how like perfection can definitely keep you stuck. Two, I also wanted to talk to you guys about how I think that in order to hit your goals, because we're gonna be talking about goals in this video, whether it be your weight loss journey, your financial journey, your health journey, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in life. If you have a goal that you're trying to achieve, then I think that you'll find this video to be helpful, or at least I hope you will. So we're gonna talk about like how you are the one, you're the individual that is able to determine your own level of success and how no one else can determine that for you. And then once you determine what success looks like for you, what I wanna encourage you to do is to go out and be the hero of your own story. So I know that I have a lot of new subscribers to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Like it means the world to me. So I'll just share with you guys a little bit about myself. My name's Felicia. I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. I'm also a full-time I'm physical therapy. So I grew up in a single family household um, and the reason why I state that is because for me growing up I was never the face of success like when people thought about the kid that was going to be most successful or whatever like I wasn't the first person that would come to mind like let's just call it what it is right I wasn't necessarily the poster child for success. I, like I said, grew up in a single family household. Um, I was the eldest of three siblings. Like within my community, like there was a ton of love and support and like my family, and when I say family, like that includes everyone, like my biological family, but also my community. If there was anything that I had, there was definitely a lot of love, but I went out in a lot of places where there were not very high expectations of me, but I had very high expectations of myself. And part of why I'm sharing this is because even as a child, I created like what I thought success would look like for me in my own mind. It wasn't about what my teachers expected from me or what other people around me expected, what success will look like for me as a child. And then also like as I began to grow into adulthood, that would change from time to time and I was able to decide for myself, not for what the world or society thinks that success will look like, but for myself, I determined what success looked like for me. I ended up graduating high school, number two in my class. I went off to college and I got my bachelor's in athletic training but while I was in college, I also decided, no joke, on 9-11, as I was in the Commons area at Marshall University, watching the planes hit the towers. It was that day that I decided I wanted to join the military. So guess what I did? I did it. Like, I just simply made a decision, and that is what I did. And for me at that time, even though I was in college, I also wanted to serve my country, because for me, that's what Felicia, being her highest self, like that is what she should do. So I joined the National Guard that allowed me to continue with school and also serve my country. For many people around me, like that was crazy, that was insane, why would you join the army at this time? You know, but for me, it was about what I wanted as an individual, what I felt would make me feel successful. Right? So I can go on and I can give you guys even more examples of my own life, but I wanna pause right here. And I just want you to think for yourself, wherever you are, whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you're trying to make decisions about, you're trying to you know, figure this out, should I take plan A, plan B, Amy, Beth, Sue, Shakira, whatever your name is. Like, what does success look like for me? Not what Instagram says success looks like, not what TikTok says, not what my mom says, not what my cousins say, not what my in-laws say. What do I feel like? like if I were creating my dream life and I can have 
anything I want, what would that look like for me? Now, let's talk about on your financial journey. So when we first started our financial journey, we did not look like, <laughs> Listen, so I'm a physical therapist, my husband's a nurse, why in the heck are we in so much debt? So for any of you that are on your own debt-free journeys or you've gone through them, you know that there's a lot of sacrifice and discipline that happens during that phase. You're trying to decrease your expenses and you're trying to raise your income. So during that time period, during those three and a half years where we were trying to pay off debt, we were not presenting the way that most people felt we should look, do, show up, act, what we should drive, how we should be, where we should be going. It just wasn't that. I mean, even though I like our daughter played travel volleyball, there will be times we would stay at a different hotel than the team. And I didn't feel the need to explain it. Like I didn't feel any less than, lower than, or any of that. There were times where we would skip out on some of the dinners, not all of them, but like some of them because they just were not in our budget. And I never feel the need to explain that. And I'm sure to many other people at the time, it looked like maybe let's say like we were struggling or that we couldn't afford it, or maybe we look less than, or, you know, not as good as, but I, and I really didn't care because for me being able to say no to that and then being able to say yes to Sally Mae, yes to Navian, yes to Chase, yes to, you know, all of these other bills and getting rid of them, that felt freaking amazing. And that felt like success to me. Now, let's talk about this weight loss journey. I tried, stop, I've been trying to, if you guys go back to the beginning of my channel, I started, I wanna say like seven or eight years ago trying to lose weight. At that time, I was only, only, cause it's lighter than I am now, I was only 210 pounds and during that time I was trying to lose weight like everyone else. I saw what everyone else was doing that made them successful so I thought to myself, okay Felicia you need to do paleo or you know that didn't work so then I tried to do keto. Then that didn't work, didn't work. Then I tried to do, I went vegan for three and a half years. Like I just kept going back and forth doing what everyone else was saying was successful instead of looking within myself and saying, okay, Felicia, what if you could have your perfect diet, if you could have your perfect lifestyle, if you could have whatever it is that you wanted that you will be able to stick to for the rest of your life, what does that look like for you? And it wasn't until like last year, May, towards the end of May, almost the beginning of June, that I was able to identify that for myself. And once I did, once I did, that is where I've been able to see the largest amount of success. For me, a diet looks like I love fruit, I love veggies, so any diet that says I can't eat fruit or veggies, like that's just, that's not gonna work for me, long term. I'm more of a um, salty person than I am a sweet person, so to give up sugar, it sounds really hard for a lot of people, and I can understand that if you love sweet, don't give up your sugar, like find something else that works for you. But if I could have popcorn or chips, like I'm still good and I'm really, really happy. Like I don't feel deprived because I'm giving up sugar. I'm still having coffee, you know? Like find what works for you. And then as far as like workouts go, before I was doing everything, and I'm a physical therapist, so I really felt like you like you gotta step up your game, you've gotta go hard. So I was doing CrossFit, I had a personal trainer, and I'm not saying any of this is wrong. All of these are great things to do for the right individual. And even at one point in my life, I may revisit all of them again. But what I had to do was sit with myself and I realized, you know, through blood work and other things that I was in adrenal fatigue. I have thyroid issues. So for me, I was actually doing too much. So what am I doing now? I'm walking. I aim to do 10,000 steps a day. It sounds so simple, but when you find what success looks like for you, it really is that simple. It really, really is 
that easy because you're not trying to keep up with anyone else. When you're on your financial journey and you identify what success looks like for your family, you really feel fulfilled. Like you don't feel as if you're missing out. Like you find joy and bliss in what you have. You appreciate the things that you have even more. You know, I think the foods that I that I eat, I appreciate them even more. Like I, I eat in a caloric deficit and what I do eat, I truly and thoroughly enjoy it there's this appreciation that I just can't explain because when I'm doing what I'm supposed to do I feel successful I no longer try to follow all of these fancy recipes I like quick simple easy food you know if I have more time then yes I'll experiment with recipes but just cooking what I have not only does it save me money but also the lesser amount of ingredients I have in my food the lesser calories I have so it just makes it so much easier that is what success feels like for me you know perfection like perfection will definitely keep you stuck i heard i want to i'm trying to think of where i heard this quote first thought process that's coming to my mind is i think it was jordan page but jordan page had mentioned something about b plus work is better than not like not doing it at all and i thought about that and like being a straight a student i was like b plus work what but i also thought about how sometimes i allow perfection to keep me stuck like i never produce a thing even with youtube like if i couldn't make a great video i didn't put anything up you know with instagram if i couldn't make it perfect i didn't put anything up but now i've learned to accept yeah like b plus work is better than not doing it at all like get it done get it freaking done and you guys are seeing my meal plans and my meal prep videos I just get it done take that pressure off of yourself because for the most part no one's really putting it there but you like no one knows if I am out if I'm out and I'm having lunch at work with a meal that I prepared like no one knows that oh yeah she put those veggies in the microwave or like or if they do like no one's saying it nobody cares people are too into themselves to really even care or think about what you have going on so create your own story for yourself create and build your dream life sit down give yourself the time and space to sit down with pen and paper and write out what does your dream life look like then start taking the steps to create that if you want help you guys know i'm more than willing to help you out but start taking steps to create what that looks like for you and remember only you 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 get to decide what success looks like for me i am the i am the hero of my own freaking story and no one can tell me differently because no one else knows what success looks like for me you know so like when you follow your own rules when you play by your own game book who's gonna check you and be like yo you're messing up and if they do do you even care because their level of success may not be what you're what you personally are grading yourself by or what you're living by so i don't know that's what i wanted to share with you guys oh yeah i'm sorry i'm rambling i almost forgot we need to do weigh in wednesday do i get up and do my weigh in wednesday dance hold on <laughs> nah we'll do it from the chair weigh in wednesday <laughs> all right guys so you guys know last week i weighed in at i think it was like 223.4 ish or something and the week before that was my lowest weight on the weight loss on this weight loss journey and it was 222.4 i believe but i am really happy to report to you guys that for week 44 we're currently in week 45 but this was for week 44 i weighed in at 222.4 so we have a newest newest new we knew we have a new lowest weight on this weight loss journey i am so freaking happy oh my gosh i'm so excited so yes 222.0 you guys know the goal for the end of april is to be at 220.0 or less 
Um, I will say today is Friday, Good Friday, and tomorrow we are having a gathering at my home. If next week's weigh-in is higher, I am not beating myself up about that because I am already planning to splurge tomorrow. I have no plans or intentions for eating flour or sugar. However, tonight I will be prepping the chicken salad for sandwiches. I'll be doing the tuna salad and the egg salad. I do want to taste those before I serve them. Tomorrow, my plan is to, I don't always use intermittent fasting, but my plan is to fast through breakfast and then allow myself to just eat and enjoy my family at the party at 1 p.m. But again, this is something that I'm planning for and no matter what the following week's weigh-in shows, I still feel incredibly successful, but I will do whatever it is I need to do to get at or under 220.0 by the end of the month. All right, if you guys are still with me at this point in the video, I would love for you to just share a little something about yourself down in the comments below. Where in the world are you watching from? Like there's a ton of new subscribers, you guys make me so happy. Like, I love friends. I love, you guys, I love people. I love people. And I don't want this to be the channel where you get to know me, but I don't get to know you. So like, just share a little bit about yourself in the comment section below. Let me know what it is that you're working on. And I appreciate all of you so very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.